This is Rap Son, worshiping the Most High God of Israel alone and carrying on the legacy and teachings of my dear father and our dear messenger, Rap the News. Shalom, family. So what you have here is the February 2022 calendar that shows the Feast of Trumpet and the Day of Atonement. So this is what we did last year. So the Day of Atonement it started on the evening of the 10th, February 10th, 2022, and then ended on the evening of the 11th. And the Feast of Trumpets were, was on the evening of the 1st, and it ended on the evening of the 2nd. So naturally, you would think this year it would be the same, fall on the same days. That would be if it was going according to the Gregorian calendar, the solar calendar. But it's going based off of the lunar calendar. So as I did the recalculation, rechecked everything, I realized that the days are going to be different each year if you're converting it to the solar calendar, the Gregorian calendar. On the lunar calendar, it's going to fall on the same days. However, since there's less days on the lunar calendar than there is on the solar calendar, then the dates is going to keep varying every year. So let's take a look at the Hidri calendar. And the reason why we use this calendar is because it's a pure lunar calendar that's supposed to be unaltered. If you look at the supposed Hebrew calendar that's supposed to be lunar, they change the days to match up with the Gregorian calendar, the solar calendar. So they add and subtract days. And you can see an explanation on that in the video I did a year ago titled the Hebrew calendar exposed so what we're looking at here is for February 2022 so last year and this shows the Hidri calendar lined up with the Gregorian calendar which means okay the pure lunar calendar days where do they fall on the solar calendar so in the light blue you got the days of the pure lunar calendar and in black you have the days of the solar calendar so if you see February 10th and 11th, it will be the 9th and the 10th of the pure lunar calendar. So the Day of Atonement started on the evening of the 9th and ended on the evening of the 10th. So how do we come up with these dates? Well, you need to go to scripture. Leviticus 23 verse 27. Also on the 10th day of the 7th month, there shall be a day of atonement. It shall be an holy convocation unto you, and ye shall afflict your souls, and offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord. Oh, it said the tenth day of the seventh month. So we started on the ninth of the pure lunar calendar and ended on the tenth. That's because our days don't start at 12 a.m. Our days start from even until even. So the evening of the prior day to the evening of the next day. How do we know this? Again, let's go to scriptures. Leviticus 23, verse 32. It shall be unto you a Sabbath of rest, and you shall afflict your souls in the ninth day of the month at even. From even to even shall you celebrate your Sabbath. It's still talking about the Day of Atonement. So back to our calendar. This pure lunar calendar, the seventh month, is named Rajab. So you see the first Rajab and then the ninth day again is on the 10th of February 22 10th day is on the 11th of February 22nd so it starts from even to evening so you have the seventh month 10th day but you start on the ninth day even from even to even so let's move to the current year the current lunar year and the current solar year and then you will notice the first of Rajab, the seventh month, is January 23rd. So it's going to constantly change because, again, there's less days in the lunar calendar. It, a pure lunar calendar, actual real lunar calendar, is not going to line up with a solar calendar. So, again, if you watched the previous video, well, the video I did a year ago, then it'll be explained that how the Hebrew calendar that's supposed to be a lunar calendar they add and subtract days so it can stay lined up with the solar calendar well then that's not a pure lunar calendar 
That's not a calendar going based off of the moon. That's a calendar still going based off of solar. It's being adjusted. So this year, the Feast of Trumpets started on January 22nd, the evening of January 22nd, until the evening of January 23rd. And then the Day of Atonement was on January 31st evening to February 1st evening. So from the ninth day of the seventh month on the lunar calendar to the tenth day of the seventh month lunar calendar. So what does this mean? It means we done messed up. Uh, not only Brother Deshaun did a miscalculation, on my part I have also done a miscalculation because again I was expecting it to fall on the same days this year but the lunar calendar again less days is going to change every year so next year if we live to see it it's going to be a different day but it's the same day on the lunar calendar and this is important to those of us who submit to the most high because it is a command it is a statute from the most high God of Israel some people are unconcerned about it. Oh, well, we're not going to be able to do it in our captivity. Oh, well, I ain't going to worry too much about it. Uh, because, number one, they probably just don't want to put in the work for the Most High God of Israel anyways. But if you turn to Leviticus 16, verse 29, And this shall be a statute forever unto you, that in the seventh month, on the tenth day of the month, you shall afflict your souls. So the Day of Atonement is a statute forever unto you. Some people don't know what forever is. Forever is for all future time, for always, continually. So whether in captivity or not, the Most High God, He doesn't change and He said, this is a statute forever unto you. So us who believe, us who submit, we take it seriously. So it's important to us that, okay, we miss this day. It's important to us to keep this day. So now what? We make preparations to not make the same mistake again in the future. So here's the calendar for next year. So the Feast of Trumpets start the evening of January 12, 2024 on their solar calendar. And end the evening on January 13th of their solar calendar. And the Day of Atonement will start on January 21st evening to January 22nd evening on their solar calendar. So that way you have the information it's here in the video so you can reflect back on it or you can mark it on your calendars now then that way if I'm called back to the Most High God of Israel somebody else will have it so then that way you know what to do and in addition to that we are going to set aside the evening of the 10th and the evening of the 11th this month to fast to pray for forgiveness from our Lord and then to go ahead and blow the trumpets blow the shofar why because though it's not the day of atonement that passed you still have to show the most high God that hey look we're sorry we meant to do our duty and we're still going to do as we are commanded because if you reflect to Moses God was coming for Moses the circumcision of his son still had to be done and carried out and then if you look at Jonah Jonah did not want to do the command from his Lord and then when he got out of the belly after praying him you know, he still had to do his duty so just because you missed a day, you still have not done your duty. You still need to carry out your duty to the Most High God of Israel. You're not exempt. You don't get a pass. You obey the Most High. And there will be some, oh, I'm not doing that. That's because they're lazy. They don't want to do it anyways. They don't believe anyways. You know, uh, the day of atonement is past. So why am I doing extra? And then don't worry about those fucktards. They're going to be doing extra when they're screaming in hell. But for us who takes the religion seriously, takes our obedience to the Most High God seriously, it's good. That's what you're doing. You're doing good. You always need forgiveness. 
So you're repenting, you're praying to the Most High God, you're submitting, you're humbling yourself down to the Most High God of Israel. Even if you miss the Day of Atonement, it's still good and you still need it. Nobody is free of sin. And again, you should do extra, if that's what you want to call it, to make up for your mistake, to make up for your error. If you make an error, correct it. And this mistake itself is the reason why we all need to be on our faces, humbly asking the Most High God for forgiveness. And as we wrap this video up, I wanted to share this with everyone. It's something I came across by looking for the link to the Pure Lunar Calendar. So the Pure Lunar Calendar is a Islamic calendar. So that's supposedly, according to them, you know, according to all the information out there, it's supposed to be the only calendar that remains Pure Lunar. I don't know if that's true or not, but according to them. But I thought it was interesting that the meaning of Rajab is to be in awe or to be in fear. And then you have the seventh month. You have the days of all. So you have our Feast of Trumpets, which marks the first day, second day of the days of all. And then you have all the way up into the Day of Atonement, you have your days of all. And then the meaning of the month, the seventh month on the pure lunar calendar, according to them, is to be in awe or to be in fear. I thought that was interesting. And if anything, a sign from the Most High God of Israel. Let me know your thoughts about that in the comments. This is Rap the News.